Look, it's me, Ryo, sitting in for Mike on Friday, January 28, 2011 for another edition of Watch This Instead, the Demonic Possession Edition. I got a chance to see the right. It's based on a true story of a young guy named Michael who's convinced by his teachers at Priest Academy to go to Rome and study to become an exorcist, even though he kind of doesn't believe in God. When in Rome, he gets paired up with Anthony Hopkins' Father Lucas character, who's a real-life exorcist that uses unorthodox methods but gets results. Father Lucas helps to show Michael just how real demons are and why the work of exorcists is so important. But like the scully to his mulder, Michael keeps insisting that the subjects might just be delusional. Even when they puke iron spikes, read his mind and predict the future. This movie is neither scary, nor suspenseful, nor really any good, and therefore not worth your time and money. It's yet another movie about demonic possession in which all the demons seem to want to do is make people swear and hurt themselves, which just makes the forces of evil seem petty and ineffective. I mean, come on, Satan, when did you get to be so boring? Also, aside from Rutger Hauer appearing on screen for what must be a total of 45 seconds. The only recognizable face in this movie is that of Sir Anthony Hopkins, who just happens to rehash yet another post-Silence of the Lambs performance with predictable results. There are bits of dialogue in this movie that actually sound like stuff that Hannibal Lecter might have said to Clarice Starling. I have no doubt in my mind that Sir Anthony Hopkins is one of the greatest actors of our time, but he doesn't seem too concerned with cementing that any further. He seems to not mind being typecast in yet another role that calls for a cryptic, squinty-eyed, strong-willed old guy. And that indicates to me that maybe he's stopped caring, and if he stopped caring, then maybe I should stop caring about going to see his movies. So don't bother watching The Right. Instead, take a trip back to 1968 and watch a superbly acted, truly creepy film about demons and Satan, and check out Roman Polanski's masterpiece, Rosemary's Baby. If you've seen it before, watch it again. The forces of evil at work in this story actually seem to be working towards something unspeakably horrifying. And everybody seems to be in on it, save for Mia Farrow's pregnant housewife character, who's paranoid, freak out, emotionally charged acting really, really does pull the viewer into the story. And it's a crazy story. It has some sparingly used but truly frightening visual effects and it will creep you right out and that is pretty much a guarantee. So don't waste your time with Anthony Hopkins and the right and instead stay at home, shut the blinds, turn out the lights, cuddle up with your buddy on the couch, watch Rosemary's Baby and then go to church on Sunday, even if you aren't a Christian.